right, so you're going to get a large sheet of paper <clears throat> and a stencil. And you want to trace around your stencil. Make sure you're um, getting it on the paper because it just about fits. All right, now from here we have a few little um, lines that we need to create. Um, so right here, this is where the sleeve's going to kind of go. So I want you to right here where it meets, kind of just draw a wavy line. Go up like that. Do the same thing over here. So now we have arms. Um, up here, draw an oval, squished up oval. And then here in the bottom you can give it little edge and then I'm going to draw kind of vertical lines to help show that it's the bottom of a sweater kind of where it, it um, cups up and there on the sleeves. I'm actually going to do the same thing up here on the neck. I have the sweater drawn so now it's my um, goal to design a sweater. So you want to think like if you were a clothing designer what would you put on this sweater that would make people buy it? What do you think people would like to see? Okay, so you have to have, um, think, plan, brainstorm. Um, what would be cute? What would be funny? What is marketable? What would people actually wear around wintertime on a sweater? Because sweaters are a big deal right now. So I want you to just take some time, think about it, and design your own sweater. Okay, so now that I've designed my sweater, I'm going to take a Sharpie, and I've already decided what I need to outline with Sharpie. If you don't want to do Sharpie, you don't have to. Um, depends on what you're going to use to color it in. So I know here on my e.l.f. I'm going to use colored pencil, so I really want the outlines to show up. Well, that's why I'm using Sharpie here, but on the rest of the sweater, I'm going to actually paint, so I'm mixing my media and that maybe I don't need the Sharpie. It really is up to your preference. Do you like that look or do you not like that look? I always like Sharpie a lot just because it brings your lines back to life where sometimes when we paint your lines get they kind of disappear under the paint and we lose your shapes. So that's the reason why I like my Sharpies. <clears throat> okay, so now that I've outlined the things I want to outline with Sharpie, what I'm doing now is I'm taking a oil pastel and I'm going over some of my pattern marks on my sweater. What I'm going to do here is a um, watercolor resist. So where I'm going to paint with watercolor paint, um, it's not going to touch this oil pastel and it leaves a really cool effect. So I have done a lot of planning beforehand in my brain on what I'm going to do and what media I'm going to use. So I know this will be colored pencil and the rest will be watercolor and I'm doing the oil pastel where I know the watercolor is going. So this is making art with a purpose. We're not just putting colors down and not thinking about it. We think about it all beforehand and then we play with it. Okay, so after I am done um, decorating my sweater, now I'm going to get a colored piece of paper and I'm going to get construction paper crayons. And I'm going to use these to decorate um, just like a, a background space. Now the sweater is going to fill up most of the paper, so I'm just going to focus on creating things around the edges like a frame. And you can like, I mean, whatever you want to design here. Just something festive. You can do snowflakes, um, little patterns. Whatever you see fit. Okay, so now that I have my background decorated, you want to cut out your sweater. <coughs> 
and you want to glue it on. So now you have a nice festive holiday assignment ready for our winter break.